Hey YouTube, it's Lewis with Rosebud's Travels. And today I'm going to show you uh, how to put a towel bar inside the casita. Uh, my wife Katie came up with this great idea. We are, uh, we have a cabinet business and one of the things we sell is cabinet hardware. And we had some displays that we were changing out and this particular pole was part of one of those plays that was going to go away and Katie salvaged this pole and if you notice this uh, what she's planning on doing is she wants this centered between the two button knobs and kind of lined up with the with the knobs so and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here and the other thing it does when you put it here, it does not hit the countertop when you go down. So the towel can just hang down. So it doesn't hit anything. And it's actually a good place for a small kitchen towel. So this is one of the improvements we're doing to the casita uh, right now. So the way this works is uh, in... I, I'll put a link to this particular poll if you want it, um, if you're interested in it. Uh, so basically what I did is I centered it on the two button locks and then I centered it between the two locks. It's about an inch and seven eighths to the back uh, bezel. Um, and and it's about three inches down from the top to center of the deal. So then I marked my holes of where I want to drill it. The other thing I did is I found screws that have a really flat head on them. So then when this handle is screwed in from this side, these this screw will not get in the way because it has a really flat head. Um, and, and if I want to, I can even recess it in, but I don't think I'll have to. It's really flat. So I got those. You will have to cut the screws to work because the door is thin. It's about a half inch thick and typical screws that come with hardware are made for three quarter inch doors. And these are three quarter inch doors. So you will have to adjust the length of the screw to um, to make it work. And I just use the uh, electrical uh, stripping pliers usually have a screw cutter on them. And it's an 830 second screw. And you basically uh, screw it into the cutter thing and then cut it off. And then your threads uh, stay good. When you and you unscrew it and the threads are are good and, it, and then they'll work in the hardware so and then the only other thing that i need to do before i drill this is it helps to put either hold a block on the back side or put a little tape on the back side to minimize chipping so before i drill this i'm going to put some tape on the back side to minimize chipping. So there we go. And then I'm going to lock that. And I'm going to get my drill bit. What I'm going to do is... Uh, I think I'm going to start it with a smaller drill bit first. Give me a give me a good place to start. There we go.
we go. Did good on that side. Did good on this side. Okay. Now we're going to get our screws. And we're going to put the handle on. There we go. Tighten the screws up. And then you can see it's very flat on this side. And there you go. Looks good. That's perfect. Very nice. Looks like it belongs in the Casita. Similar color, good length. Doesn't pro. Uh, the other reason Katie chose this one is that it has a, a low profile. Doesn't come out very far. She didn't want something that actually stuck out really far, um, which which is a good idea in here. And then when you flip it down, it doesn't get in the way. There you go. Another project completed. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.